Hi, I'm Tyler Bishop, and today on Azoic Explains, we'll be talking about the difference between users, page views, and sessions. So today we're looking at the difference between users, sessions, and page views, and often these things can get confusing for publishers and website owners, as a lot of the terms have a tendency to bleed together. And in this case, I have tiered them down into a way of kind of organizing them as these things sort of pyramid down in terms of how important they are and how they uh, stack underneath of each other. So you can see at the top, I have um, our term user, which uh, is a term used inside of Google Analytics. It's also the same thing as a visitor. So a unique user would be someone like me. So if I was to come to your website and visit it, I would be a unique user or a visitor. And that is a way uh, of tracking uh, individuals that would come and visit a site, whether you're a new user, if it was my first time, or I'd be a return user if it was my second time. Next, from there down, we go into a session. So a session is a single visit. So when a user like me comes to your site, I would be recording a session. So that is the visit that I am coming to your site. So one visit would be me landing on your site and a page view is each time I visit a page during that session. So a page view is kind of the most granular form of tracking um, all the traffic on your site. So um, I might come to your website on Monday and that would be a single session and I would be a single user, and I may visit two pages. We'd have my landing page, the page that I landed on, and then the second page that I visited. So I'd record two page views, one session, and I would be one user in this case. If I came back on Tuesday, I would be the same unique user, but then I would be recording a second session. And in this case, I'm only visiting one page, so it would be one page view, and since I left after that initial page view, that's what we would consider a bounce. So if I'm looking at this inside of Google Analytics, which I am now, you can see over here users, those are individual visitors. You can see over here new users, so those are new visitors coming to the site. They have recorded uh, 558 sessions, 528 525 users, so those users have recorded sessions, so some of those users have come back, you can see. 510 are new, 15 uh, are not, they're returning. And uh, on average, I'm only getting them to visit 1.06 sessions uh, per user. And then page views, 711. So those 525 visitors had 558 sessions and visited 711 pages. And on average, that, that comes out to 1.27 pages per session. So how many pages are they visiting each time that they come to my site? And how often are they just visiting one page and leaving? 89% of the time, and that is my bounce rate. And that is it. That is everything that we basically need to understand our traffic. Those are the core metrics that most website publishers and sites in general have to look at to measure their traffic, whether that's coming organically, directly. It's a great way for publishers to uh, better understand how their traffic works and who's coming to their website. If they didn't already, hopefully this has been helpful. I'm Tyler Bishop, and this has been another episode of Zoic Explains.